Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is John Brenneman. I'm the president here at MOA Vacations, and I thank everybody for joining us uh, today for our webinar with Silver Sea Cruises. Um, for those of you who may not be familiar with MOA Vacations, uh, we are MOA's official travel agency, um, and we are a full service travel agency, so we want to be your travel agent for all of your vacation travel, cruises, tours, hotels, airfare, whatever it's like you do for uh, vacation uh, travel, uh, we're here to help. Um, I do always like to mention uh, at the beginning, and I'll mention this again at the end as uh, well, uh, we are taping this presentation. So if any uh, time during this presentation, you hear something that you maybe wanna go back and revisit, just make a note of the time. And since we started right on the hour, if you know it's 42 minutes in, and there's something you want to revisit when you get the video, you can actually fast forward to that point. Um, we do invite you to bring your friends and family along. So when you get the uh, copy of this presentation, feel free to share the presentation uh, with anybody that you'd like to have you join, join you uh, on your next uh, cruise vacation. Uh, we have a lot to cover today. Um, so I'm going to, just a minute, turn it over to Rachel. Rachel's going to talk uh, about Silver Sea Cruises, um, how they travel the entire world, what their unique benefits and those types of things are. Uh, and then after that, we are actually going to go through some group departures we have um, for Antarctica, Galapagos, and the Norwegian Fjords, which gives you the opportunity to increase your fun factor uh, on your cruise by traveling with your fellow MOA members uh, from around the country. Uh, and then after Rachel talks about that, I'll pop back on and we'll do a QA, and a uh, answer any questions that you might have. Um, so without any further ado, I'm going to turn it over to Rachel. Uh, we've got a lot to cover. So Rachel, thank you for joining us today and uh, tell us more about Silver Sea Cruises. Wonderful. Well, thank you, John, and thank you all for joining today's webinar. Um, I oversee our field sales team at Silver Sea. I'm quite excited today to talk about our Silver Sea brand and these three unique group departures, as well as uh, highlight some of our expedition offerings that we have at Silver Sea. Uh, I always like to show this slide because it's our, our biggest focal point at Silver Sea Cruises are the number of destinations we visit, over 900 worldwide destinations. We are the leader in destination cruising. The only destination that we're year round is the Galapagos. Other than that, everything is seasonal. We visit um, these destinations at the best time of the year. So um, it is quite exciting just looking at the number of destinations we visit, but um, we have small luxury vessels that can take you to some of the most remote places. Um, I love this photo here. I've actually um, been on one of these voyages that sails down the Thames. It, um, one of our ships will dock at Tower Bridge. We're one of, I think, two cruise lines that can dock at Tower Bridge because our vessels are small enough. So we average about uh, four to about 700 passengers on the classic side. Um, so those are our standard destinations visiting Northern Europe, Mediterranean, Caribbean, Australia. And then on the expedition side, uh, remote destinations like Antarctica and the Galapagos, anywhere from 100 to about 240 destinations. Um, it's quite exciting the past five years uh, with our fleet expansion at Silver Sea. Uh, we have 11 vessels in our fleet right now, six classic ships and then five expedition ships. But over the past couple of years, we've launched a new vessel every year. So this past summer, we launched a classic ship, uh, Silver Dawn. Next summer, we're launching uh, Silver Nova. And then in 2024, we're launching another classic ship, Silver Ray. So it is quite exciting just looking at the fleet expansion. But one of the highlights with Silver Sea with our onboard product are the size of the suites. Um, everyone has a butler, whether or not you're in our entry veranda suite, 95% um, of the suites do have a veranda. So that's a big highlight just with the space of the suites. Um, a mini bar in the suite, so any special beverages you want, a walk-in closet, so uh, very, very nice accommodations. There's even a pillow menu, nine different pillow options you can choose from. Um, but every category does have a butler, and I like to say that's like a private concierge. So any special um, 
maybe uh, shore excursions that you might want to make or dining um, reservations you want to make, the butler can assist with that. Um, one thing I really like when I sail on Silver Sea is the afternoon. Um, you come back from being ashore and you can order a bottle of champagne, some canapes, and you can enjoy that out on your veranda. Um, so the service on board is a big highlight with Silver Sea. We average almost one-to-one -one crew to guest ratio. The other unique thing, um, as we've uh, enhanced our brand with our new vessels and our, um, our vessel size, about six to 700 passengers, is just the dining choices that we have, ranging from five to about eight different dining choices that we offer. Um, our newer vessels, uh, we've gone away from the main restaurant concept where we have specialty restaurants, but some of the best dining at sea from French restaurants to Italian. We even have a casual area to dine out by the pool deck. We have Japanese cuisine, um, as well as somewhat like our main restaurant we use as Atlantide, which I'll talk a bit about our culinary program that we have on board. Um, so what does Silver Sea include? Uh, we are the most all-inclusive cruise line. And the reason I mention that is because we've really enhanced our product the past couple of years. Um, we're the first cruise line to ever offer the butler service for all categories, but something we've added to our package the past couple of years, shore excursions on our expedition um, itineraries, as well as our classic voyages, as well as international airfare. So international economy airfare is available for every destination included with a cruise. Um, and then we do have business class upgrades at additional cost. Um, so that's just a nice little benefit. And then private car transfers from your home to the airport within 50 miles. So that's something brand new. So from the moment that you depart your home to arrive to the cruise ship to uh, head back home after the trip, everything is included. The only additional charge you should have on board is for the spa and salon. Um, I mentioned just a bit about the fleet expansion, but the past couple of years with just launching some of the new ships, Silver Moon, Silver Dawn, Silver Nova is coming out next year. And then we did launch Silver Origin, our Galapagos ship in 2020. So going back to our culinary program, um, we're calling this with our new vessels, Sea and Land Taste Salt. Um, we do have a cooking kitchen on board. So there's 24 um, stovetops where we will have a culinary director on board. They'll even have specialty shore excursions ashore. Um, so just depending which destination you're in, you'll take these really cool shore excursions visiting remote um, areas where you can learn how to cook. My favorite, though, is the salt bar on board. It's like a speakeasy um, cocktail bar, but all regional drinks based on the destination where the vessel is. I'm going to play a brief video that highlights our salt program. We like to travel, we like to go different places, but having one place to go, unpacking one time, and then having the world kind of presented to you, we couldn't get better than that. It's been a voyage of discovery and a, a tremendous uh, pleasure. Great food is, is, is always more than what's just happening on the plate. Uh, it's about the stories behind it, it's about the people who make it, grow it. You feel like you're going off to where people really are living and experiencing you know, their life on the island. Island to give the chance to my visitors to taste the cheese and the yogurt that I have used to eat. It's not just any one thing. It's the shore experience. It's the adventures we're having on land. It's about bringing that food culture and those experiences back on board. And together they really form this wonderful ecosystem of culinary curiosity. It appealed to me because I was getting to know Greece that perhaps I hadn't known before, I hadn't heard of. Getting a little bit of the local flavor and learning more about where we are. This is my life. It's not a story. This is my life. One of the really exciting things about being on board Silver Moon is seeing how salt lives on board the ship. It's about bringing that food culture and those experiences back on board. We've loved getting to know Greece, diving into the different cultures and traditions of the islands. And the best thing is we're just getting started. All right, I'm gonna turn back on my video. Uh, great, well, uh, one of my 
favorite videos that just really highlights a culinary program, but you're really immersed in the destination, just not ashore in the excursions. But once you're back on board, um, the cu cuisine that we offer in some of these specialty restaurants is amazing. We also have a really nice um, spa program on board. So it's just a little nice touch that we have in um, the balcony. So if uh, you want to get a nice spa treatment, um, they'll offer something additional even on board um, your suite so you can enjoy um, some nice cocktails and canopies out on the veranda. Um, I do want to highlight uh, one of our new ships that's coming out next summer, summer of 2023, Silver Nova. This will be the largest vessel in the Silver Sea Fleet, about 728 passengers. But the highlight with this ship um, is sustainability. So 40% uh, reduction on emissions. She's able to plug in once she's in port and we're saving about 25% um, energy efficiency with that. So it is something uh, brand new and industry first leading this, um, but we're quite excited about this. And just also what's really nice, um, this space uh, with this vessel, a 728 passenger ship, the tonnage I would say some other cruise lines might have about 2,000 passengers on board uh, a vessel this size, but there's a lot of outdoor deck space. Um, I love just a lot of natural light. Some of the bars, even this dust bar aft deck, how gorgeous it is. Um, a terrace area, again, just looking how um, a lot of natural light through, through the vessel. And then the suites um, started about 330 square feet. So they're, they all offer a veranda and go up to about 1700 square feet. Um, so that's one of the big selling points with Silver Sea with our onboard product, just the size of the suites, the space, um, as well as some of these other suites that are a little larger than the verandas, how much deck space they have, a separate living room, um, just very comfortable vessel. So she'll begin her inaugural season next summer in Europe. And then she'll offer a transatlantic uh, cruise over to New York. And then she'll actually be in Alaska in the summer of 2024 and then offer a South America voyage um, uh, towards the end of the year. So we're quite excited to have one of our brand new ships in Alaska in 2024. The other vessel I want to mention that just joined the fleet last month, Silver Endeavor. So this is our polar vessel. Um, she is currently in Antarctica right now, 200 passengers, 200 crew. And the highlight with um, the sailing on an expedition voyage is it's more of an educational experience. So all the shore excursions are led by an expedition team. We have 25 guides on this ship, um, but the amenities on board are very nice. Uh, what expedition cruising, I always say was about, uh, pardon me, what river cruising was about 10 years ago is what expedition cruising is today. There's over 30 new builds. Um, so there's a lot of interest and demand for destinations like Antarctica. Um, just a stunning vessel. She will operate this season in Antarctica. Next summer, she'll be in the Arctic. So primarily um, this brand new ship will be in the polar regions throughout the year. We just launched our 2024, 2025 voyages this past summer. So it was the earliest launch that we've ever had. Um, 340 voyages for the 11 vessels that we have in our fleet, 695 destinations. So going back to the focus on the destination, we really are the leader um, in destinations, always looking at new places we can visit with 56 maiden calls. Um, some something new with our programming in 2024. Uh, we have some more interest with our South Pacific Islands visiting French Polynesia and Hawaii. We have longer Alaska cruises. Typically, our Alaska cruises are about seven days in length, doing the open job from Vancouver to Seward. But now we do have a couple uh, 14 day itineraries, Canada, New England, and then we do have some new um, South Africa, East Africa itineraries for expedition. I'm gonna play a brief video uh, that highlights our upcoming um, itineraries for 2024 and 2025. Get ready to color the world. Silver Sea Cruises is proud to launch our new collection of voyages. Designed and curated by our experienced architects.
we've crafted every single voyage and every single detail. to create the most unique and unforgettable experiences. Get ready for a new world of destinations with Silver Sea. Color the world. New Voyages Collection, 2024-25. So I see there was a question about um, the beta calls. We'll answer that in a bit. I'm just going to continue to uh, run through the presentation. Then we're going to talk about uh, the three group departures we have with John. I do want to mention something else. We're seeing a lot of interest for um, our longer voyages. So typically with Silver Sea, we have seven, nine, 12 day itineraries. But a lot of our guests are looking at taking back-to-back uh, -back segments and something that's really popular are world cruises. So every year we do have a world cruise that usually ranges about 100 days in length. In 2024, we have a round trip San Francisco voyage. It's 132 nights, visits 14 countries, 65 destinations, and 23 overnights. I think right now we have about 150 guests booked on this full world cruise. So I just like to show this just so you can see everywhere we uh, we visit in the world. But um, think of that too when you're looking at a cruise, booking it back to back. It's just another great way to travel and extend the trip a bit longer. Um, I did want to mention a bit about close to home travel. A lot of Silver Seas itineraries are quite remote, but we do have a couple um, vessels along the east and west coast of the U.S. Um, one um, being Silver Muse in Alaska in uh, 2023, so next summer, offering uh, seven-day voyages. And then in 2024, we will offer longer Alaska cruises ranging from about seven to 14 days in length. And then Canada and New England, again, another seasonal destination in the fall. Um, but we will have one of our vessels there offering about four itineraries, September and October of 2023 and 2024 from uh, New York City to Quebec. Uh, with that, John, I'm going to uh, turn it over to you if there's anything you want to mention about your group departures. If not, I'll just jump in and, and mention a couple things about the three um, itineraries that we no, I um, please go through the group itineraries and then uh, I got a few things I was going to chat at the end and then we'll open it up for Q&A. Perfect. OK, well, uh, the first itinerary I want to talk about uh, is a classic voyage, British Isles, Silver Dawn, round trip Copenhagen, August 26th of 2024. So Silver Dawn is one of our brand new ships. She just launched this past April, 600 passengers, eight dining venues. It has that salt a culinary program on board. Um, I love this itinerary through the British Isles. These voyages always sell out. So I highly recommend if you're interested in this to speak with John and his team to book it in advance um, because it is a fabulous voyage. And um, booking with the Military Officers Association of America um, with the members, uh, you'll receive a $250 per suite shipboard credit on all Silver Sea Cruises. So that's just a little enhanced benefit. I'm sure some of you are asking, well, Rachel, you said that everything's included with Silver Sea. What can I use with a shipboard credit? Um, the Spawn Salon. And then if you would like to purchase maybe um, a more expensive bottle of wine, um, that can be added there. But yes, almost everything is included with your um, Silver Sea voyage. The other um, group departure I want to mention is the Galapagos. So um, for some of you, if you haven't been on an expedition voyage before, some of these destinations, the only way you can visit is on a small expedition ship, one of them being Galapagos, the other one being Antarctica. Um, I believe we do have the best Galapagos program in the industry, combining that with a brand new ship. I visited the Galapagos twice last year. It's one of my favorite destinations. So this group departure, December 9th of 2023, um, round trip San Cristobal, we do include a pre and post program in Ecuador. So the pre program will be in um, Quito for two days. 
and then the post programs out of Guayaquil. Um, so it's definitely a big highlight here. Um, wildlife, you'll see two landings a day. I'll click through some photos in a bit just to highlight exactly what you see. And then in Antarctica, this is a destination I would book at least a year in advance. Um, Antarctica is a seasonal destination where the Galapagos were there the entire year, but Antarctica were there their, their summer season, which is November through the end of February. And this is a, a great itinerary to visit in January. Um, I always get the questions of what's the difference with going in December, January, and February. Um, in January, you'll be able to see baby penguins. They're born at the end of December. So this is one of our most popular itineraries. Um, Silver Wind Round Trip Porter Williams. We do include a pre post program with Antarctica just because there's some charter flights built in. So with this trip, your international airfare will be round trip um, Santiago, Chile. And then we'll include a charter flight to Porter Williams, Chile, the day of the cruise. So international air is quite easy to book, um, but it's a 12 day cruise. And with expedition, usually there's two landings a day, weather permitting, one in the morning, one in the afternoon, walking, uh, hiking, zodiac cruising, kayaking, all of that is included with your trip. And then you have the expedition team leading all the excursions. John, was there anything else you wanted to mention about those group departures? I'm gonna, if not, I'll just jump right in to talk a little bit more about that. Uh, no, I mean, you know, the, just, no, we'll get to it at the end. Okay, great, great, great. Well, um, I, I do want to touch a bit upon our, our expedition product because there's so much interest and demand right now uh, for this segment of travel. Um, one unique thing with Silver Sea, uh, we've been operating expedition voyages for the past 14 years. Uh, our first Antarctica voyage was in 2008. Um, we started with one expedition vessel and now we have five. So there's definitely a huge demand for that. Um, but we have one of the largest expedition teams. And why I like to point that out, when I was talking about the service on board, about a one-to-one -one crew to guest ratio, same level of service on board, you experience ashore. Having more guides means smaller groups ashore, in the zodiacs, walking ashore, hiking ashore. So that's a really big um, thing to point out. And then also not going over 300 passengers, just so you can spend more time ashore exploring these um, remote destinations that we visit. So these are the five expedition uh, vessels we have in our fleet. Our smallest ship is Silver Origin. That's a Galapagos ship. And she's the only vessel in our fleet that's year round just for the Galapagos Islands. The other four ships are our polar um, destinations visiting Antarctica, the Arctic. And then we do have some really unique South Pacific itineraries. Um, one, one thing too with, um, with the expedition team, um, it is a bit different than traveling on like a classic cruise to the Mediterranean or Northern Europe. The guides, they, um, they're specialists in their field. So whether they're marine biologists, historians, botanists, geologists, um, they lead daily recaps on board, nightly recaps, um, and all the excursions ashore, they lead those hikes, walks, zodiac cruises. So it's very interactive. It's an educational experience. And it's by far one of my favorite ways to travel on Silver Sea to remote areas of the world. Um, Antarctica being one of my uh, favorite destinations, I want to uh, play a short video that highlights uh, why this destination is so unique. So our expedition guide, Luke Kenny, that gives a little overview of this destination. He's been to Antarctica 160 times. He signs up for Antarctica every year. So uh, you'll hear from him why this destination is so special. Adaptability and flexibility are key elements of expedition cruising. We don't have such a set itinerary as such. You know, we're not guaranteed to go to a particular place. It all depends on weather conditions. I work closely with the captain on this, looking at forecasts for the upcoming days and how it will affect our itinerary, whether certain areas need to be avoided, whether we need to look at plan B, C, D. And also down in the Antarctic, then on ice charts, whether ice comes into play or not as well. I keep coming back to Antarctica, I suppose, because of, of the rewards that 
it gives us it it creates huge challenges you know to operate down here and you never know exactly how it's going to work out but it always does you always get this amazing experience at the end of the day and to see just the reaction of the guests that we have down here see just how much fun and enjoyment they're having the whole time it's just incredible turn the video back on here. Uh, so I, I hope you really enjoyed that video. I, I always get chills when I watch it. Um, by far, I would say one of my favorite destinations is Antarctica. Every day is different, especially with the weather. You can never predict that. But there's so much interest over the next couple of years with Antarctica. Um, so if you're interested with this trip, um, please speak with John and his team, Silver Wind. Round trip Port of Williams, January 21st of 2024. So it's a 12 day itinerary uh, and you'll spend about six to eight days in Antarctica, a couple days crossing um, the Drake Passage and then weather permitting every day, a couple um, different landings. So I'll just click through here, share some photos of um, the uh, landing sites, what they look like. You're always in these inflatable, durable, rugged zodiacs going ashore. So that's one thing with expedition cruising. Um, the ship is able to visit these really remote places, and then these zodiacs are able to take you ashore. And every day, landing ashore, not just a couple hundred penguins, but anywhere from three to six thousand penguins. In South Georgia, this photo here, Salisbury Plain, up to fifty-five thousand breeding king penguins. We like to say this is the most formal that you can have on a silver sea vessel when you're in Antarctica here with the penguins. So it's, it's quite unique. The wildlife has no fear of humans. So um, that's really what is special. And also with Antarctica, many days, um, it's sunny outside. We'll offer, anytime there's a, a longer hike, it might be a mile in length. Um, we'll always offer a short walk. So we cater to all different activity levels. Choice of flexibility is big with Silver Sea. Um, I went a couple of years ago. I, I brought my mother on the trip and she didn't want to go on the hikes ashore, but she went ashore with me to the first penguin colony. And I, I did a couple of the more strenuous hikes. Um, we do include a uh, parka, backpack, and a water bottle. And then we do have a packing list you can speak with John about, about everything you need to bring. It's probably colder in Chicago in the winter than it is in Antarctica. Um, photos like this, many days it's sunny. Uh, I'll never forget this particular day. This was on my trip. We had eight humpback whales bubble feeding within five to 10 feet of our zodiacs. Uh, they turn off the engines and it's, it's just an experience that uh, you'll remember uh, forever. The, uh, our vessels are able to um, to get you ashore on the ice, walking walking through here. I love this photo through the snow, um, and you'll see these little walking paths. Um, the Silver Sea guests didn't create those paths; those are actually <laughs> the penguin paths. We like to say they have their own little penguin highway walking ashore. They're quite curious. You'll probably be within five to ten feet of some of the penguins walking ashore. Um, complimentary kayaking is included as well, so. Um, it is a great way just to explore Antarctica on a Silver Sea um, vessel. The other destination I want to mention uh, is Arctic. I just returned this past summer from Greenland. Um, Silver Sea offers about four different ways to explore the Arctic. Uh, if you're interested in seeing polar bears, I recommend our Svalbard voyages. Uh, quite remote, so we do include some charter flights there, um, but it's longer been to Tromsø. It's about a nine-day trip. And we spend about six days exploring Svalbard. One thing I like to point out though, if you're interested in um, an Arctic itinerary, 
Think of it like an African safari where you're searching for the wildlife. You're not going to see a polar bear every day, maybe a couple on the voyage. Comparing that to Africa and the Galapagos where the wildlife is everywhere, the Arctic is more searching for the wildlife. Um, and then we do also have something um, unique. We only offer one voyage a year is a Northwest Passage cruise from Greenland over to Nome, Alaska. This was on my voyage a couple years ago. Um, we were sailing north, 81 degrees north. Within six hours, we saw a polar bear and a walrus on the ice. On um, this particular day, we saw a polar bear eating a wall, uh, not a walrus, eating a seal in the water, walking ashore for about an hour and a half. And it was remarkable. So um, we do have polar guards on board. Um, if there are polar bears ashore, of course, guests cannot go ashore, but um, from the comfort and safety of a Zodiac or ship, you can see. Um, if you're an avid birder, I highly recommend an Arctic trip. Uh, you'll see walrus, um, Arctic fox, and then plenty of puffins. Um, really, really beautiful birds there. Um, if you're interested in a Greenland trip, there is a bit of a difference with Svalbard itinerary in Greenland, and it more has to do with the cultural side. With Svalbard, you're really not going to see any human civilization. It's just going to be wildlife. With Greenland, a lot of Inuit communities, a lot of ice. That's one thing that I was amazed by. This is a photo of me in the middle kayaking here in Greenland. Um, we'll visit this ice fjord, Ilusuit, Greenland. It's a UNESCO World Heritage Site, 25 mile ice fjord. Um, so this is one of the big highlights with Greenland, um, but it's, it's definitely a great way to explore. And then lastly, I want to talk about the Galapagos. Um, John's other group is December 9th of 2023 on our brand new ship, Silver Origin. Um, with the Galapagos, we know our schedule. It doesn't fluctuate like the other remote expedition itineraries. So we know where we're at Monday morning, Monday afternoon. I would say it's a seven day voyage, but it's a really busy itinerary. There's no sea days. Um, it's gonna be as busy as you want though. You can do up to five activities throughout the day. I'll click through just to show some photos of this vessel, but it looks like a mega yacht, all veranda suites, 100 passengers, 87 crew. Um, we have this interactive digital wall here. So all of our landing sites are all loaded. Um, so the expedition leader, before you go ashore in the morning and the afternoon, will um, review the uh, islands you're visiting and the wildlife you're gonna see at that particular landing site. So it is something you, we're the only vessel in the Galapagos that has this. Uh, and the destination itself is beautiful. There's a lot of uh, natural light throughout the vessel, a lot of deck space to enjoy the views. Um, this is the entry suite, the superior veranda. So uh, I would say the accommodations, again, are, are very nice on Silver Sea. Even on an expedition voyage, you're not roughing it on board. The accommodations are, are quite nice. Uh, but one thing I'd like to point out with the Galapagos, the expedition team. Um, they're all Ecuadorian parents, their grandparents, their guides. They're very passionate about the islands. And I'm going to play um, a short video of, of what makes this destination so unique. Galapagos is unique because this is one of the few places on Earth where you're actually accepted as part of the environment. These species are not running away or flying away. In certain cases, they're coming up to you. And that makes this place truly unique. Something that surprises many people is the diversity of Galapagos. Not only the terrain, which is distinct from one island to the next, but also the diversity of life. But we have a unique diversity. In areas where you have reptiles such as sea turtles swimming next to penguins, there's nowhere else on Earth that you have that combination. Being a naturalist on the Silver Galapagos is not only fascinating for me because of this environment that we're traveling through, but also meeting our guests they're coming in here and seeing Galapagos through their eyes and the excitement of being able to interact with the species here. It's very personal. There's no other place like Galapagos on Earth. So if you're interested with that itinerary, I'll just go back. That was um, December 9th of uh, 2023. I'll click through here just so some photos of my Galapagos trip. I went twice last year, but similar to Antarctica, Zodiac cruising every day. Um, you're within five to 10 feet of some of the wildlife species. Um, you can see up to, on this itinerary, John, um, it's our north central itinerary. You can see up to 30 different bird species. 
including the famous Blue Foot of Booby. Um, white sand beaches, beautiful for snorkeling. I snorkeled with penguins, manta rays, sea turtles. Who would imagine that you're snorkeling with penguins, but the Galapagos, they do have a Galapagos penguin. The Blue Foot of Boobies, you'll see the frigate birds. Um, and of course, we'll take you to the highlands and see giant tortoises. Um, with the tortoises, uh, there's about 100,000 giant tortoises in the Galapagos. So we'll take you midweek um, to visit Santa Cruz Island to see the tortoises. And then of course, kayaking is included. Some photos here of just snorkeling, but this was on my trip snorkeling with um, sea turtles. Uh, so with that, that, that was an overview of the destinations, some of the unique itineraries. I do like to mention if anyone's on the, the call um, that travels as a solo, Silver Sea does offer solo rates as low as 25%. So it's just a great way to travel, especially on some of these expedition voyages. And uh, John, I will turn it over to you to mention a bit about these three group departures. Thank you, Rachel. Uh, and actually on the group departures, um, I would uh, like to suggest anyone who has any questions actually give Mike Tyrell a call. I know a number of you have spoken with Mike in the past. Mike's actually uh, sailed on Silver Seas. He actually was just... Uh, on Silver Seas Galapagos a couple of months ago. So he actually has a lot more experience with Silver Seas uh, in everything they have to offer. So your best bet uh, is to give Mike a call on any one or all three of these for any other questions you might have. Um, as we're kind of coming to the end of our presentation, uh, I know at almost half the people who are on right now were not on at the very beginning. Uh, so I did want to remind everybody that uh, we are taping this presentation. Uh, so I'm actually in Orlando right now. I'm, I'm going to board a cruise ship, um, but I uh, wanted to do this. This is the second road webinar I've done. Uh, you, some of you may have been on the one I did uh, January that I actually did it live from a cruise ship. So um, anyway, uh, either tonight or tomorrow morning, the office will actually send out a copy of this video. So if you came in a few minutes late, you can you can uh, you know watch the beginning and see what you missed. Uh, and of course, you can go back and review uh, any parts of the, the presentation or watch the videos again. And as we said at the beginning, you know, uh, we work uh, with MOA members, but you're invited to bring along uh, friends and family, any guests you want to on any MOA trip that we do, even if it's just you and another couple, or if you want to go on one of these MOA group departures, or even our signature groups. Um, you can bring friends and family on any of the trips that we offer. So uh, absolutely free uh, friends and family along with you. Uh, and then I wanted to, to talk again real quick is uh, I know that Rachel talked about the $250 shipboard credit uh, that we have uh, with Silver Sea. That's part of our MOA exclusive amenity program. Uh, I hope all of you received our e-newsletter. Uh, but we actually talked about uh, our service uh, and this exclusive amenity program in the column I write for that newsletter. And, and for those of you who may not have seen it, uh, the, the reason that we hear over and over again from the people that work with us uh, that we're the travel agency of choice is the level of service that we provide. We are the only travel agency in the country that provides travel on a satisfaction guaranteed basis. And that simply means that if you book your travel through us and you have any issues, we'll resolve that problem for you. And in fact, in most cases, when people have uh, problems uh, with a trip or with a booking or they need something that they can't get, uh, I actually talk to them personally uh, because if the uh, agent you're working with can't resolve it on their own, they actually escalate those to me. Uh, and when we talk about problems, it's really anything that you want that you can't get. So. Um, I know it's not an issue on Silver Sea, but let's say you're going on another cruise line and you want early dining and early dining is full or the, you know, a cabin accommodation or whatever. Uh, we certainly do everything we can to uh, fulfill that. Mm -hmm. So hopefully you all uh, mm -hmm. follow in the newsletter. Uh, if not, uh, just let us know. We're more than happy to send you another copy of that. Um, but yeah, we certainly hope that you can join us someone uh, doesn't isn't muted. Let me see if I can mute them real quick. Yeah, there you go. I muted it. Okay, there you go. All righty. So I see that we've had some questions. So we're gonna turn it. We're gonna do a little Q and A right now. So I'll go back to the very first one. And Linda was asking about the maiden calls. Uh, Rachel, uh, 
Yes, we have quite a few maiden calls every year. Usually we average about 25 to 35 maiden calls. So that's something really big drawn for Silver Sea just with the number of destinations we visit. We have it on our website. There's a section for maiden calls. Um, and if it is brand new for that particular itinerary, we will highlight it as a maiden call. I just can't list them all on this call. It might take too long. <laughs> Uh, call Mike and let him know when and where you want to go, and uh, Mike can certainly get that information for you. Uh, or call whoever your uh, agent here uh, is at MOA Vacations. Uh, the next couple of questions were people mentioning that they were having some problems with the audio, um, uh, with their Wi-Fi connection or whatever. Um, as I mentioned, we are recording this presentation. Uh, Rachel will actually send that, uh, that video to us. Uh, we'll edit if any editing's done, and then we actually upload it to YouTube. We actually have our own uh, YouTube channel. Uh, I, know, I recognize some of the names, so I know a lot of you have uh, joined us in the past for a webinar. So we actually do uh, one or two of these every month. Um, so once we actually upload it to YouTube, uh, we'll send everybody a link. Uh, we'll also include some information about those MOA group departures again. Um, and so you can watch that at your leisure. And as I've mentioned before, uh, feel free to share that with anybody uh, else who you think might be interested in joining us in Silver Sea. Uh, we have a few more minutes. If anybody else has any other questions, uh, while we have Rachel, um, if there's anything you, you want to know. Uh, Rachel, if you go to that last screen, yeah, I was gonna say, uh, oops, sorry. Uh, I'm in a hotel room. And it's not. It's not like being in my office. Uh, so sorry about the shakiness right there. But anyway, here's our uh, telephone number and our email address. I think most of you already have that. Uh, just give us a call. Uh, I know our agents are available right now. Uh, you can send us an email if you'd prefer to do that and ask any other questions that you might have, uh, and we'd be glad to answer those for you. So um, actually, finishing up a little bit early, Rachel. Uh, no other questions. Is there anything else? Uh, that you'd like to share. If not, we can go ahead and uh, say goodbye. Uh, and yeah, that's, that's it on my side. I just thank you all for, for your time. And uh, these three voyages uh, that we mentioned today are quite unique sailings. So I would recommend just to take a look at them. They're some of my favorite itineraries that Silver Sea has. So thank you all. Yeah. And, and remember, uh, when, when, you're, when you're looking at Silver Seas, to always keep in mind that, you know, everything is included. Uh, so the value of a Silver Sea uh, cruise is comparable to what you may already be paying if you're going on some of, you know, the, the premium lines, the Holland Americas, the Princesses, the celebrities and those types of cruise lines. Um, it's the value that they add by having everything uh, included. It's uh, for those of you who've sailed on Silver Sea or another all-inclusive line before, uh, it is such a more enjoyable vacation without having to worry every day about what the next thing that you have to pay for from drinks to specialty dining to, to short excursions to what your gratuities are going to be. And it just goes on and on. So, um, well, Mike just said it was a great presentation with good information. There we go. Let's leave on a high note. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, thank you all for your time today. And um, hopefully we'll, uh, some, we'll get some good, great bookings on these itineraries, John. There you go. Rachel, thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule to speak with us today. We really appreciate it. And we'll talk to everybody soon. Have a great uh, week, everybody.